Well, hello, YouTube. On my quest to do always constant improvements, I got this here box five seconds ago from the UPS man. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I have a theory about my boat. It needs to do it all. And there's certain things that, I mean, you know, I'm constantly thinking about to improve my situation. And this is one of them. See that? That is a firepower featherweight lithium ion battery. Lithium ion polymer technology can be mounted in any position. Now, this isn't cheap. But, this little battery supposedly gives off 300 cold cranking amps. Look at that. <laughs> this thing weighs like one pound, four ounces, I think. It doesn't say. Well, maybe it does in the actual directions. Guys are putting these on their motorcycle and right there is a charge indicator there you go all lights all the blue lights mean it's fully charged can you see that there you go so what's in here a stack of my flashlight batteries that are lithium ion. That's what. Guys are putting this on their motorcycles. So what do you think I'm going to do with it? Test the charging system of the vehicle. Charging conditions over 14.9 volts can damage the lithium ion battery. <coughs> I don't think I have anything to worry about that. Storage. Battery should be stored with at least 70% charge state. Should be completely recharged every 180 days while if in storage. Uh, let's see. It doesn't say how much it weighs. Guys are putting these on motorcycles. So you know where I'm putting it? Let me show you. This is now the battery for my kicker. Yeah, say it ain't so. Let me turn on the light here. Say it ain't so. All right. uh, believe it or not, it can be kind of dark under here in the middle of the day. So, let me give you a little overview here. My kicker has... Oh, here comes helicopters. Here comes the, the noise. All right. Oh, gotta love it. Okay. I got a start button right here. But I got a pull start with electronic ignition. I'd say when dead, dead cold. This starts in it on its third pull. When it's a warmed up engine, it starts on its first pull. So let me show you. All right, hold on. Helicopter number two. If I ever move from here, which I mean not permanently, but I'd like to get out of here, I'm going to look. I'm never, ever 
going to live around a military installation ever again. So what do I got? I got a VMAX 26 pound, 26 pound AGM right here. What do I want to do? I want to get rid of 26 pounds in back here. And supposedly 300 cold cranking amps. Look at this. All right. 26 pounds of AGM. My kicker, the real reason I need a battery is for the trim or to tilt it up. I can always start it by pulling the, the pull cord. So I was thinking to myself, really, I'm carrying around 26 extra pounds. <clears throat> this is like carrying a couple bags of ice around on the stern of my boat 24 seven every time I go out, which isn't really needed. I mean, that's the nice thing about the kicker. If I want to troll or I need an emergency power source, you know, a backup, what is a kicker for an inshore fisherman? It's twin engines. I had a battery box here, everything to put it in. So, now I think the battery box is going to have nothing but this. So, let me hook it up and we'll see how she rolls. Alright, wait, wait a minute. Helicopter number four. Helicopter number four. It's like, it's like living in Baghdad. Alright. So, that's as simple as it was right there. I can use the same battery box. Test. So, it'll sit right here. So, now, I'm this light. Versus this light. The he as heavy as a big old bull redfish. So, let's see how this little thing works. Alrighty. First test on the trimming up. No problemo. And about 25 pounds lighter in the stern of the Jetty Wolf. Constant, constant upgrades and try to improve. I don't want to be heavy. I had to put this cooler back in for the summer season. See that cooler? My 100 quart split icy tech. I don't even want to put that in the boat because that's 30 pounds. I did all winter long with a 25 quart stuck underneath my leaning post with shrimp in it. There you go. I mean, that's the thing. That's not permanent. I could pull that out in two seconds. But this time of year, I may want to go get pogies. I might want to keep croakers alive. So I keep it in, I put it in for this season, this time of year. So to get rid of this, this is now, which this right here, has about the same cold cranking amps as that little battery. This one right here, it does, I don't see what it's, it doesn't say on it. But I bought this one. This one's called a VMAX Tanks. Okay, I bought this Marine Mobility or sol for solar. I bought this uh, specifically because it's an AGM and it can take an absolute beating. But it's like 26 or 28 pounds. That little lithium ion, I think it's one, one pound, four ounces. So 
all I need really the battery for is for trimming up and down. <coughs> Boom. I can start it. Let's try starting it. Yes, this kicker can be run with this flushing port on the side. Unlike they tell you on your big engines, don't run it with those flushing ports. But this, you can idle it. You don't wanna be revving it up and all this, they say, but you can run this on this flushing port. So, let's give it a little start with the electric start. Wait, wait a minute. Helicopter number five. All right. Like living in Baghdad. You know they can fly over the ocean. Nobody gives a shit. All right. <coughs> Let me go in and squeeze thy ball under here. Make sure she's got good gas. There's my little battery. All right. Now it's going to take a couple uh, turnovers here, even with the electric start. I mean, she's good and cold, you know what I mean? But it's got to pump the gas up into it. So here we sit. A little tiny battery. 99.9% .9 of the time, I enjoy pulling that cord. Brings back old memories. And now she's charging. She charges a little bit. I don't know how many amps it is. So while she's running, she's charging that little tiny battery. Ah, maybe. Unlike the big engine with like 60 or 90 amps or something or whatever. I think this one's maybe seven. Yeah, or something like that. So this is a this is my little Merc Pro Kicker 15 horse. If I didn't mention it, it's got a cover on it. They automatically starts idling down a little bit when it's warming up. I love this little engine. I think they say it's made by Tahatsu, believe it or not. Well, that's the nice thing about Tahatsu. Keeping it simple. It's a great little motor. Great little motor. Now, of course, I usually use this for trolling in the summer, but I need to get out where it's calm someday and do some hauling ass with this and really give it a workout because it hasn't had a workout since really last year. I used it a couple times for trolling during the winter down a few uh, banks, you know, in the river. Never caught anything trolling. 
but we were trolling uh, paddle tails. We should have caught something. So there you go. There's my little battery. Let's push the test button again. Still fully charged. I guess, uh, this box is going to be kind of, this is going to kind of dwarf it. I mean, if all the cool guys with their fancy ass troll motors can have all lithium ion batteries at, what are they, a thousand a piece, fifteen hundred, twelve hundred a piece? I guess I could have me one of these, right? So, I want to be able to go in as shallow as water as possible, be as fuel efficient as possible. And this was a simple fix to be able to do that. Get rid of that heavier AGM sitting back here in the stern and go with this little light one. So, there you go. Just another constant improvement, I believe. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ah, 15 horsepower kicker motor versus helicopters. The sound of sweetness.